Hello, 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 my lovely friends. Hello, how are you? Is anyone here? Is anyone watching? Let me have a look myself if I can see myself. Is anyone here? Hello, my lovely friends. Is anyone uh, let me know uh, if you hear me right, if you're uh, if you could see everything okay. I'm just gonna install myself. Uh, oh, hi, Susie. Hello, hello, my dear friend. Hello, how are you? I'm just gonna be right with you. Oh, here's Ella. Hello, Ella. Hello, my friend. How are you as well? Uh, lovely to see you guys. I'm so happy uh, you're joining me. Oh, there's my mom. Hello, mommy. Hi, mom. Cześć, mamo. Uh, hello, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome on this new live classes um, during the daytime. And there's been a little bit change. I'm just coming back to you. Just give me one single second, my friends. Um, where am I? Um, okay, I'm just gonna be with you. Let me have a look. Where am I? Um, oh, my computer screen is just locked. Mm. How is everybody? Let me know how is your day? How is the weather? Where are you looking from? Um, uh, if you're watching, what is the your day like looking? Uh, what's your plans for today? And there we go. Here I am. Oh, hi, Isabella. Cześć, Izunia. Um, Put that one up and then pin it and I'm just coming back to you my friends now um, where is this one here we go okay right now my lovely friends hello hello uh, there's been a little change uh, there's been a little change in the timetable um, obviously uh, my son is in the nursery. I've got the dirty desk. Oh no. Uh, anyway, kochani, dzień dobry, dzień dobry, witajcie. Mała zmiana. Teraz live będą w ciągu dnia. I know that it's not gonna be as great for everyone because I know some of my friends said they are at work during this time. Uh, but my son is in the nursery and uh, he's been there Monday to Friday. So I don't want to take away our time on a Sunday as well. Uh, so uh, that's why the change but uh, the live will be um, oh I will what is it I will upload it on the YouTube as well and here on the Facebook and my friends 50 more friends to my YouTube channel and I could start doing live classes on the YouTube as well I'm super excited now uh, let's go back to the business uh, Oh, Ella, last exam. I'll be crossing my fingers for you, my friend. Uh, I hope you will pass it smoothly. Straight A's. I'm wishing you that. So uh, I'll be I'll be crossing my fingers for you. Uh, now, going back to the life, we're going to be doing some belly band, which uh, I not prepared myself because I forgot to cut the strip of the paper. However, uh, this is the design which I actually made. I think it was April time this year, so a couple of months back. And I've shared this design on the craft world. However, I forgot to add it to the Facebook, which uh, I did just right before the live. If anyone would like it, you can download it, print it. You can print it borderless as well. Uh, I forgot to add that feature and I was just rushing. So I've print myself with the border, but it's, I'm still gonna be using it. Uh, anyway, it's free to download for everyone who would like it. Uh, you can just, you know, grab it, don't, I print it and use it uh, it's in the same file with the rest of my design papers and there is some extra papers for those of you who are watching first time I do have a inspirational group called drop of inspiration you're more than welcome to join us over there there's so many beautiful crafters who are posting their artwork with my design papers over there so and there's some extra bonus papers there as well oh hello linda hello hello how are you my friend now we're gonna be making a, a belly band card i thought that for a change it will be good to play uh, rather than having the composition on the card we're gonna be doing some composition on the belly band and this will be a main feature for our card 
But before I'm gonna do that, I want to create some nice lovely background and I thought this design paper will be just matching here perfectly. I like how it's looking with the white border. So this is what I'm gonna be leaving. Witaj Kasiu, cześć, cześć, witajcie kochani wszyscy, dzień dobry. Robimy karteluszkę z takim belly bandem e, sobie dzisiaj, więc mam nadzieję, że pomysł się spodoba. Papierek ten tutaj, który widzicie, jest do pobrania na moim fanpage'u na Facebooku. Możecie go sobie ściągnąć, wydrukować i, i korzystać. Mam nadzieję, że się spodoba. So, going back to the card, I think I'm gonna be... I'm quite keen on leaving this white border because I think it will be looking nice and then we're gonna be close everything and focus our composition on the on the belly band and this is a good idea uh, for the cards like invitation or something you could have some spare pocket inside or some gift card or something like that uh, tackle in and uh, I thought this is this is something we haven't done for uh, for a while I at least for me so uh, let's do this is anyone crafting with me just let me know my friends are you crafting or are you just watching today or are you gonna be creating something different because this is what i'm doing from time to time as well i'm just gonna grab the gelatin okay now uh, are you crafting or are you watching I sometimes craft, but many occasion I usually craft my own things, like I'm making the cards, inspirations or something, and then I watch someone else crafting life. So it's like crafting with the same person. Well, like we're almost in the same room. Mm. What is it? Uh, hand cut all elements or cut them on this kind of cut. Uh, I usually use scan and cut for my handmade elements like I, I'm trying to design them this way so they will be easy to cut on the on the scan and cut machine because uh, I don't have as much time for uh, cutting them with the hand however sometimes if I have only one or two I need like very quickly I usually will cut them off the hand but normally uh, I save all those uh, do I have something? Oh yeah. Uh, all the design papers, like uh, they, they're having this strip with the elements. So I'm just chopping off the design paper and the rest I'm just mounting to the brother's can machine and then cut it off uh, at once. And I usually, um, you know, keep myself like four or five strips and then I could just, you know, attach them on the one passing through on a mat. And sometimes what is a good idea if you're having more than one and you want to attach it to your uh, scanning mat, just use a very light color uh, masking tape and just very slightly, you know, glue it down to your cutting mat so that way it's not gonna be moving. Jeśli ktoś korzysta z plotera, ma takiego brother scan and cut plotera, to też wszystkie te elementy, które są do pobrania, można sobie na tym ploterku, kochani, wyciąć. Tak przynajmniej staram się zawsze, żeby żeby one działały, żeby takie zaprojektować, żeby właśnie się dobrze wycinały, bo ja sama za dużo czasu nie mam na to wycinanie, więc dobrze jak można sobie ułatwić. O, witaj Artur, cześć, cześć. E, witaj, witaj. Robimy sobie kartkę z belly bandem dzisiaj. E, przynajmniej staramy się. <śmiech> ja się staram. Reszta patrzy albo robi. O, Ulga, cześć, cześć, witaj kochana. Hej, hej, ale dzisiaj myślałam, że będę sama. Uh, I thought I'm gonna be on my own because this is a, you know, working hour time. But no, there's quite a few of you, my friends. Uh, także, o, oh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to cut not too much. <laughs> but... I've been keep chopping and chopping and chopping and this is it yeah I think I like it like that I really like combination of the white I don't know but I love the white picking through underneath my papers this is just something I truly truly love and that's it now I've got my uh, die cutting machine on the side so that will 
help me out and save me from you know putting it back and forth as I did before uh, but I forgot to cut myself um, mm, o Ula przed pracą e, no miła godzianka kochana mam nadzieję że będzie e, że będzie e, e, miły w pracy i praca szybko minie o ten borek o, no super, no wiadomo, wiadomo, Artur, jak to jest z rodzinką, człowiek robi jedno i zaraz wszyscy chcą. Uh, my friend, just give me a teeny tiny second, because I forgot to cut myself a strip of the paper. Mm, kochani, już do Was wracam, tylko sobie tutaj przytnę na gilotynce. Um, myślę, że 6 cm. Ok, no. Right. I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Uh, I forgot to cut the strip of the paper and I have this large uh, pieces of the card. If you don't have it, you can cut two uh, of, from the A4 size paper and then just mount it together. So it's not gonna be a trouble. I just happen to have this large, pap uh, large pieces so I wanted to, to just cut it. But uh, my large gelatin is on the other side. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm just gonna be, I'm not attaching it yet, as I don't know if I will be putting something underneath. I'm thinking maybe a drop of the gold or something, but I'm not quite sure. What I want to do, and I know I can do it for now, is that I want to, um, I want to create a belly band so I could I could glue it and start working on it now one thing I would recommend you my friends is ever so slightly just shift your paper just a teeny tiny bit uh, so you will have a little bit looseness uh, if it comes for your belly band because if you're gonna be attaching some layers if you're gonna be attaching some layers like I'm having layer here it's good idea to hold it uh, or glue it before you actually uh, you know put your strip together because that way uh, you don't want it to be too tight so it's not gonna be you know uh, working and you don't wanna have it too loose as well but it's just right uh, what I'm doing I usually make one line and then very gently like just half a millimeter just slightly slide it to the side and then make another scoring line. Kochani, jak robię tą opaskę, to zawsze staram się, żeby ona nie była ani za ciasna, ani za luźna. Na pewno przykładam sobie tutaj wszystkie te papiery, co, co będę chciała mieć przyklejone, żeby mniej więcej mogła sobie określić, jak, jak chcę, żeby to była grubość. I potem, jak zrobię sobie jedną linię, zbiguję, to delikatnie, dosłownie no, o włos przesuwam sobie i robię drugą linię. I w ten sposób mam taki Troszeczkę luzu, ale to nie spada mi. Uh, ok, so let's do this. For my front, I think I want to, I need some shape. Uh, and I think the heart shape will be looking nice. Plus I love those new dice. Uh, this is the new release dice from the uh, creative, from the craft stash. If anyone would be interested, uh, I put you the links down below. So you can check them out and I just love it. They do have the whole selection in different finish. Like there's a, a stitching lines, a straight line, but this is the new addition, uh, this torn edge. I really, really, really like it. Zrobię sobie tutaj takie serducho i na tym serducho będę sobie budować kompozycję. Tak sobie wymyśliłam i mam tutaj takie wykrojniki. Te wykrojniczki są ze sklepu Craft Stash. Linka macie tutaj poniżej. I naprawdę polecam, bo raz, że super fajne one są, zawsze rozmiary właśnie pasujące na kartki 20 zaczynają się. Naprawdę są duże i są we wszystkich kształtach i możliwych wykończeniach. Są z takim obszytym brzegiem, prostym. Także naprawdę spory wybór tam jest ich, więc polecam, polecam. Ok, o, gdzie ja to chowam? Nie tutaj, tylko do feliki. W ogóle muszę zrobić porządek. Uh, I need to clean them up and I am in the process of switching my uh, dice, the way I'm storing them. I'll just quickly show you that, my friends. This is how I now store my dice. 
is absolutely perfect and I just love it. This is the beer mat. Uh, this is a very thick cardboard and I've switched my magnets to the motor grade one. So that way, even if I'll drop something, sorry for the noise, uh, nothing coming off. And I fit this poly pocket, this is A5 size poly pocket, um, and this is just perfect. I just love it. I've started doing that. I am halfway through uh, my collection of my dice and I'm just like leaving them like that and they're absolutely perfect. Nothing is coming off and this was the best switch ever. <laughs> Before I had them in different packaging, well obviously the one I'm keeping is from my design team. Uh, the design team I work with, I like to keep the original packaging so I could have for the photos or something like that. But the rest of the dice, this is this is the way. Uh, this is a new way I'm storing them. Now, okay, let's do some die cutting. I'm gonna be putting that one first. I have my machine here. Uh, first time I've got myself a little bit more organized. <laughs> um, dobra. Uh, odnośnie tych wykrojników, kochani, przerzuciłam się, zrobiłam sobie właśnie takie podkładki z, z permaty i mocny magnes e, kupiłam, mocniejszy i naprawdę super mi się przechowują e, te magnesy. E, e, nie magnesy, tylko wykrojniki. Nic mi wreszcie nie lata i po prostu wreszcie mam porządek. Jeszcze nie skończyłam wszystkiego, ale, ale już się cieszę. Ok, um, zobaczmy, przycięło się to, przepięknie się przycięło oczywiście i teraz drugi mniejszy, mniejszy wytnę sobie, I will cut the smaller one from the design paper, I think I have enough and uh, yeah, I like this pinkish color, uh, this is what I love when you're cutting elements from the design paper, you can always like choose whatever like you need a more blue tones or something you can always like go over and you know the certain area you really like in comparison to cutting them from the plain paper uwielbiam wykroiwać właśnie elementy i kształty z takich papierów ponieważ można sobie zawsze tam wybrać tą część która nam się najbardziej podoba w sensie że jak bardziej niebieski kolorek, czy bardziej różowy, jak tutaj, znaczy w zależności jaki macie wzór, nie? Ale zawsze jest, nie, nie lubię zwykłego papieru. Jak, jak zaczynałam robić kartki, powiem Wam szczerze, że miałam tylko i wyłącznie takie, wiecie, jednokolorowe papiery i wszystko na nich wycinałam. Natomiast teraz, no muszę Wam się przyznać, że o, odkąd zaczęłam wycinać e, e, na papierach takich właśnie... E, różnych właśnie z takimi wzorami, to już po prostu zwykły papier już tak nie wygląda. Nie wiem, macie tak samo? Żeby były starsze, mi się podobają te wykroniki. A, dziękuję bardzo. Ja się zastanawiam, czy tych mat A4 nie przeciąć na pół, żeby były A5. Maty... A, bier maty, tak? Czy, czy jakie maty? bo nie skumałam. No, chyba tam wcześniej była... Uh, there was some conversation before and I think I've lost it a little bit. Uh, so, uh, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Look on that, my friends. I've already loved it. I already love it. And we haven't started yet. Good. Well, we did a little bit. <laughs> so, um, this is what I think I'm gonna be doing. Is I will create myself some flowers and some leaves and I will try to build up everything up here and I have one more idea let me see what the size is here because uh, <laughs> that one, what's the size like oh yeah I like it I'm gonna do a mini shaker. This is a last minute thought. <laughs> Kochani, wymyśliłam sobie, że zrobię taki mały shaker. I'm gonna put that on the side. Bo, bo, 
połamać te... Wiesz co, Artur, to zależy, jakie masz duże wykrojniki i jak lubisz je tam przechowywać. Dla mnie na przykład A5 jest idealny rozmiar, bo kupiłam sobie takie pojemniki lodówkowe i, i w nich mi się świetnie to trzyma i też mieści mi się na półce. Jakbym miała A4, to myślę, żeby mi nie weszło na półkę. No nie wiem, no wiesz co, wszystko zależy od tego, jak, jak tam te wykrojniki sobie, wiesz, w czym to trzymasz, nie? Mnie się wygodniej pracuje na, na, na A5, ale to myślę, że to każdy musi sobie zobaczyć, jak mu tam pasuje, nie? So, uh, my friend was saying he's got this magnetic sheets in a size of A4 and he's wondering if he should uh, cut them down into A5 size. And I'm just saying that uh, it all depends like what's your storage solution like. Do you have like a wider shelf or more narrow? Mine shelves where I keep my dice, they're quite narrow, so definitely A5 would not gonna fit there. I'm trying to create myself a nice frame and I will try to glue it down this way so I could cut a few times but with the same mm, thickness, like I'm, I'm not gonna be moving around. Uh, Ella loves the heart shaped dice. Yeah, I love them too. This is one of my favorite uh, from the entire collection. I think the um, hearts and the stars. The stars also uh, having this. Uh, well, we're back. I don't have all of them. I haven't bought them all yet, but I really, really like the stars and the ovals as well. Uh, and I've got the rectangulars. I think there's uh, squares, octagonals, hexagonal, all the shapes is, as usually come with the creative dice but they really really lovely and quite often have a look on that my friends because they're, they're on a good price point anyway but from time to time Craftstash is having those super extra deal when they sell it like 20 or 30 percent off so that's really a good moment to, to buy these ones. So uh, I usually put a post uh, when it's discount happening, but keep an eye on it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut a few uh, of these shapes and I'm sorry I should probably cut it in advance, but this is like classes I never prepare in such as, I have the rough idea, like what we're gonna do, like uh, whether it's like explosion box or or like now belly band card, but I never have exactly right in my head what we're gonna do. Uh, so I'm gonna be. And I have a lot more time now. <laughs> Since my son is in the nursery, I don't have to rush and he, it's not like on a Sunday evening that, oh, it's dinner time, I need to wrap it up. Uh, so I've cooked my lunch yesterday and it's not gonna fit, so I'm gonna put that one here. Mm. <laughs> That's my problem, Susie. I think I have this brainy ADHD because my thoughts just jumping from one idea to another. I can't stick to my own ideas. Like many times, I think almost majority of the times when I'm crafting, I'm starting from one idea and I end up creating something totally different because I have five different ideas along the way. <laughs> uh. Koleżanka Suzy śmieje się, że, że lubi jak szybko wyskakują mi te pomysły, ale powiem wam, że mam takie właśnie pomysłowe ADHD i po prostu nawet jak już coś tworzę, zdecyduję się na jakąś kartkę, to zawsze jeszcze, a może tu zmienię, a może tam i nigdy nie, nie ma tak, żebym zaczęła z jednym pomysłem i od początku do końca zrobiła, tylko zawsze jeszcze coś tam na wymyślam. I czasami są z tego różne katastrofy, bo czasami jak sobie coś wymyślę w połowie drogi, to... <śmiech> o radę. I need to tell you, my friends, I'm going back and forth 
with this Sizzix die, even though it's absolutely uh, cutting with one passing through, there's no need for that. However, I have my lamp and I can't go my plate fully, like, you know, um, pass through to the other side because uh, I don't have enough space. So that's why I'm going back and forth. But if anyone is curious, the Sizzix is just dying perfectly after a first pass. Never had a trouble with it, even with the intricate dice. Well, there are some super, super intricate dice. And in that cases, I'm helping myself with the Gemini, uh, which is much stronger, like, you know, um, um, what is it? Uh, it's just squeezing 10 times more stronger than uh, than the other manual die cutters. What machines are you using, my friends? Let me know what's your favorite. Do you have like a die cutting machine which is like one and only for you? Mówimy właśnie o maszynkach do wycinania. Ja korzystam z tego dużego Sizixa i muszę wam powiedzieć, że bardzo, bardzo go lubię. Przez lata siedziałam ze Spellbinderem i jakoś tak miałam w ogóle Sizixa mniejszego, tego sześciocalowego, ale że używam dużych wykrojników, to często mi się tam nie mieściły. I kupiłam tego Spellbindera i tak się tego trzymałam, a teraz przerzuciłam się na Big Shota i naprawdę jestem mega, mega zadowolona. A wy z jakich korzystacie? Jakie ploteki macie? Które są wasze ulubione? Macie taki, że... że... Tylko ten i żaden inny, czy, czy raczej też tak właśnie e, zmieniacie? Ok, few more. Oh. Right. And one, two, three. I think I want it a little bit more. I don't, I'm trying to avoid to actually putting a foam tape or something because I have no luck with the foam tape. Usually when I when I have it, it's not working for me as I would like to. A co to jest DP, Ula? Jakaś polska firma, bo nie znam, nie słyszałam o tym. Ja no powiem Wam, że to jest fakt, że, że jak się patrzy nieraz na ceny, ja nie kupuję w polskich sklepach, no bo wiadomo, że, że, że mieszkam tutaj i ten transport raczej przesyłki są drogawe, ale... Czasem mnie się wydaje, że łatwiej jest właśnie, taniej jest nawet kupić maszynę tutaj niż, niż, niż w Polsce właśnie ceny są. A, to takie coś. A, nie, this is Ella's. O, oh, nice. Looks really nice. I can't imagine myself how, <laughs> how did we do it before? I mean, I still sometimes do the cards without the die cutting machines, but... Uh, I just love it. I love die cutting so so much that I just I would not like to go back. No, definitely no. Okay, I think I'm gonna do one more. Maybe how many I have? I'm just trying to put myself a proper thickness of these. Mm. Right. Uh, yeah, I think that will do. One more, why not? I already have it on the machine. So I'll just run it through. And this is the most tedious part, probably, always to cut all those elements. And once you create something, but I don't mind, I like it. And now, last thing I need to do, and I like to do it, is to... I need some acetate as well. I've got a piece here, so I'm just gonna cut it, the large piece from the acetate and something for the backing as well, maybe. And Uh, 
the masking tape has stick to my acetate but never mind I'll go back okay and then one more I will cut the last one I promise I will be cutting from the mm, design paper back again because rather than me trying to place everything I, I always like to lock my elements into the shaker because I think it's just uh, easier to do it this way I didn't plan the shaker <laughs> but oh, I think it will be nice addition something extra right let's do this okay and I have it perfect Got it all, put it aside now. My heart, so I'm not gonna lose them. Where's that pocket? It's here. I definitely need to create myself those uh, mats like I have for, for my dice. So uh, I will be doing that for this big dice. I just don't know when. <laughs> I had so many plans, my friends, uh, when my son was just about to start his nursery, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do everything, but <laughs> he catch this three day, like, kiddies illness, then I was ill, and that's it, that's my plans, never worked, but there's still time, I mean, what I'm not gonna do this week, I will do next week. Oh, that's nice. Uh, 21. Would that, was that with the autumn leaves, Ella, the magazine? I think 21 was with the with this crafter companion set, was it not? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I think this is the, the, the lovely design with this autumn leaf. Yeah, I like to enclose the shaker first because many times I'm just putting those sequins or some little like, you know, uh, particles on the middle of the card and once I'm trying to lock it uh, straight to the card, it's just coming off because I didn't glue it properly. So I'm gonna be starting from gluing my frame together and I'm using the glossy accent because it's strong, it's quick, it's fast drying and I know that if I will adhere something onto glossy accent it's not gonna go anywhere. So this is my idea and uh, I'm just gonna do it. Oh, not straight. The only one problem with glossy accent is that once you stick it stays in the place it's not as movable as PPP glue which dries slower but I don't have a time plus I think the glossy accent is really really good if you're planning to adhere the acetate it's just sticking it perfectly and I think it's just holding super for that oh never I like using glossy accent. It's really, really strong at adhesive as well. It's it's perfect main use uh, for for you know making this lovely embellishments, but it's really working perfect as a glue. So uh, I need to actually reorder more of these because this is my last bottle. Uh, I mainly trying to use it for for embellishments because I know like it's quite pricey as well it's much expensiver to use com in comparison to the regular glue but for the quick sticking something for the pearls oh it's very good for adhering the pearls as well um, lubię używać glossy accent jako kleju dlatego że on bardzo szybciutko łapie i bardzo mocno jak już coś zwiąże to już po prostu zwiąże i, i nie ma zmiłuj się Także szybciutko zasycha i tylko wystarczy przycisnąć i już w sumie jest sklejone. Yeah, for vellum is perfect because it's dry, clears and you can't see it. Oh, I really like this side as well. Uh, I 
you know what? Yes, 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 yes. I think this is this is what I'm gonna do. Am I? No. I really like this green side now. Oh, never mind. Yes, I'm gonna cut one more. <laughs> you have to excuse me that one, my friends. You will have to excuse me, but I really, really thought I love how this green one look, looks like. So I'm hoping that I will manage to put it perfectly the same way. Uh, because I was planning to have this heart white, but now I can see that I really love it. O, witaj Jasiu, witaj. E, robimy sobie kartkę z belly bandem, ale wpadłam na pomysł, żeby zrobić sobie taki mini shaker w środeczku, e, więc teraz go sobie dłubię. Nie przemyślałam tego, <śmiech> ile to czasu zajmuje. No ale czasem tak jest na live, że się wpadnie na jakiś pomysł i, i robimy. A przynajmniej ja robię, część ogląda, część robi. A co u Ciebie? Witam, witam w ogóle wszystkich, którzy dołączyli. Hello, hello, if anyone just join us, my friends, we are creating the belly band card today. I'm creating, I'm trying to create one. And you know what? This is gonna be a far better idea. If you have to redo it the dice in the same way you just did the best idea is to just line them up with the previous die cut you had and once you line them up just cut it through the die cutting machine is strong enough that it should take two layers no bother and that way you have this absolutely sure uh, you could be assured that your uh, second element you have to cut it will be exactly the same frame like it's not gonna be off to the rest so this is the idea and let's let's put it up to the test <laughs> I hope it will work <laughs> because I don't want to give you an idea which is not working no but I did it before plenty times so always working Right, is this cut through? Yes, it is. Have a look on that. And I'm having this beautiful frame on the same color uh, as I thought I wanted. No more cutting of these hearts, my friends, I promise. <laughs> we did enough, like I did enough. What's the time? Oh my gosh, I'm 40 minutes and I'm barely started. I'm talking too much. Oh, so it's not just me. Isa is doing exactly the same thing with the dice. Oh, I put too much. Uh, trying to unstick it and it's got crinkled. Never mind. I'll just open that up. One thing I've learned myself, I need to hold my die back to the back or packaging straight away because uh, I've lost so many dice. And I need to tell you my friends, <laughs> I was doing some work uh, for the magazine uh, recently and I've lost the stamp I need. <laughs> I had this sentiment stamp which I needed for the card and uh, I was using the stamping platform and I took it away and instead of it gluing it straight away to the packaging I just put it aside and then it stick underneath one of my ink pads. Oh my gosh, I just spent hours, hours and hours rambling through the bin. I thought, oh no, I must do like, you know, um, get rid of this. Maybe it's just in a rubbish now. Oh, what a stress. I'm telling you, my friends. Now, this is what I'm going to do. This is how I prefer to do it. I'm going to be gluing this top layer to my acetate. Kto tutaj z nami? O, Asia. Patrzyłam na komentarz i nie widziałam, bo już się przewinęło. Robienie shakerów jest bardzo, bardzo proste. Ja myślę, że najprostszą metodą i najlepszą przynajmniej dla mnie sprawdza się wyciąć kilka elementów, skleić je razem w taką właśnie rameczkę 
i wtedy nic tam się nie przepuszcza, nie wypuszcza. Można to robić przy pomocy pianki dwustronnej, na przykład kosteczek albo taśmy, ale ile się trzeba nadziubać, to po prostu nie dla mnie. Mnie się wydaje, że szybciej właśnie wykrojnikami można sobie to załatwić. Now, my friends, for the shakers, you can do it, of course, with the foam tape. You can, there's so many different ways you can lock the, uh, the, the shaker particles inside. But to me, I think if you have this solid frame from the uh, die, die cuts, um, this is the, the best way to lock your particles. And I never ever had any, even the tiniest one, like a glitter size, they never coming out. Uh, at least I never had a trouble. Uh, this glue, uh, ten clay to jest glossy accent, Kasiu. Witaj, witaj. Dzień dobry, dzień dobry. Uh, witaj, Marcela. Hello, hello everyone. Witajcie, witajcie, kochani. Kto dołączył, robimy kartkę z shakerem. I mam tutaj takie małe, nie za duże, nie za grubiutkie serduszko, zobaczcie, z tych ramek posklejane. I teraz muszę sobie coś tutaj do środka napakować i zacznę. Mam takie, zobaczcie, kupiłam sobie w Craftstashu też takie mikrokuleczki. Bardzo, bardzo fajniuchne i one są trochę takie jak, jak wiecie, jak brokat maluchne, ale... One są cięższe, bo są szklane i one świetnie się ruszają i nie ma tej statyczności, która się zawsze tam wszystko się przyczepia do, do naszego tego foliki. Uh, I need something nice. I have this Martha Stewart stuff for, for the shaker and I think I'm gonna be using the combination of the hearts and something else. Can I use something else? Do I have something else I will use? Oh, glitter juggles, why not? They look nice. Uh, I need some spoon, which I don't have, but uh, what can I use instead? Oh, I don't have... Dobra, I'll try this one. So what I'm gonna do is... Oh, one more tip, my friends, one more tip. If you've got the baby powder or something, Rumbles. Oh, it's locked, it's locked. Where do I have it? I don't have the box for the powder, but if you've got the baby powder, it's always a good idea just to go over your elements, just teeny tiny bit, just to get rid of the static. I'm sorry, I had this little container for the powder and I've lost it. Kochani, jak robicie sobie shakera, to możecie sobie delikatnie albo tym narządkiem takim antystatystycznym, albo zwykłym pudrem dla dzieci z supermarketu przejechać, bo wtedy Wam się te cekiny i wszystko będzie mniej kleiło do ścianek i do wszystkiego. No, this is not gonna be working, Marta. I need a spoon, I need a spoon or something like a spoon. Oh, never mind. I'll use that one. We're gonna be Okay. Oh, look on that. I already love it. Okay. Jaka jest możliwość kupienia tych wykroników z wysyłką do Polski? E, trzeba by zobaczyć w sklepie Craft Stash. Oni wysyłają do Polski. E, linki są tutaj podane. Jest link UK i link ze Stanów. I tam po, jak się składa zamówienie i poda się miejsce zamieszkania, to one, e, no oni tam powiedzą, ile to będzie wynosiło. Ja przyznam się szczerze, że do Polski nigdy nie zamawiałam, więc nie mam pojęcia, jakby to cenowo wychodziło. Ale muszę kiedyś spróbować. Muszę może spróbować złożyć zamówienie i zobaczę, może wtedy będę mogła Wam powiedzieć więcej. O, oh, I like it. Ok, maybe a couple of the pinkish one. Okay, so we've got micro beads. We've got this little set from the. Uh, this is like a. What is it? Mm, I don't know. It looks like this little. I don't know what's what, what they call them. <laughs> it's not the sequins, but it's it's little something something. <laughs> uh, 
uh, okay and I think I have enough maybe 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 just a drop of the green as well or bluish because I have oh, I'm taking it upside down because I have some spots of the blue color here like this teal color and I think it will be a good idea just to just to bound it up so uh, this is what I like to do whenever I'm creating the shaker I always like to even just a teeny tiny drop just to bound it all together it will look nicely okay kochani mamy to myślę może jeszcze trochę tych kur tego takiego świecącego nie za dużo not too much and I think that will be it what I'm needing maybe am I looking for some more Mm, I've got something like that, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, maybe silver, no, that'll do, I'll tell you, that'll do, <laughs> I'll be thinking for the next 20 minutes, Marta, no time for that, now, I'm gonna be adding the glue to the edges, and this is one tip, my friends, for you. Smear your glue with the finger so it's not gonna be coming off once you squeeze your acetate. And another very, very, very important thing. Once you stick down your foil, don't move it straight away. Let the glue dry out first before you start testing your shaker. Kochani, taka rada moja. Posmarujcie sobie klejem. Wiecie co, ja już widzę, że te drobinki, this one is very static and it's, as soon as I lift my foil, it's stick up. So, oh, now, posmarujcie sobie klejem, przyciśnijcie mocno i zostawcie. Zawsze jest taka chętka w człowieku, żeby od razu tam, wiecie, yy, machać tym shakerem. Pozwólcie klejowi dobrze zaschnąć, bo wtedy nie ma tej szansy, że Wam się te boczki posklejają. My friends, just leave it until dry entirely and once it's dry, once you're gonna be moving... O! Oh. See, uh, Iza pomogła. So, before the, uh, before the glue will dry, uh, there is a chance your particles will stick underneath. So, just let it be I know it's tempta tempting to everyone, even me, like as soon as I close my shaker, I want to, you know, shake it, but no, just leave it. Okay, now, we're going back to our cards. So we've got this mini shaker and let's do this bit. What I'm thinking, maybe, it would be a good idea to add it a little bit extra texture. And I'm thinking, do I have the embossing folder for that? I'm having a few. Let me see. Let me see what I could do. We've got a flowers. I like that one. I really, really like the text one. This is one of my favorite, my friends. I don't know. Maybe that one. Elegant one. Elegant or text. What do you think? <laughs> I cannot decide. I literally cannot decide. Uh, or maybe that one. No, I know what I'm gonna do. There will be a lot of the things going on, so I'm just gonna put this diamond pattern. Oh, text. <laughs> uh, no, I'm changing my mind, Ella, because there will be a lot of things added to the um, to the pattern anyway. Uh, so I think the larger one, more loosely designed, will be looking nice here. So I'm putting it, I'm hoping it's straight, straight, straight. And now I need to change my mat uh -huh. for my embossing. And I have that one. So I'm going to place my plates. I need to change my plates. 
because they've already got used up so much that I need to order myself a new one. Okay, we're having that one. Oh, I need to move my machine a little bit. Oh, it's going tight. Right. Okay, I hope it worked. Yes, I love it. I absolutely love it. Look on that very, very subtle texture, my friends. I just absolutely love it. This is something, oh, my heart fell off. This is something what we needed. Okay, zobaczcie, kochani, mam piękną teksturkę, która doda nam troszeczkę takiego, wiecie, coś tam, coś tam, ale nie za dużo. I tylko jedna rzecz, o której nie pomyślałam, bo jak zwykle nie trzymam się planu, Zawsze zostawcie sobie większy papierek, jeśli będziecie embosować go. Dlatego, że w trakcie embosowania on się Wam troszeczkę wykurczy i potem tutaj nie będziecie mieć równiutko do końca. Tu mam troszkę dłuższe, większe rameczki niż na bokach. My friends, the only one thing I haven't thought, whenever you embossing a larger piece of the paper, like I did, uh, never cut it precisely to the size because once you emboss your paper and it's getting texture, it will shrink it up. So now my frame is not 100% straight. I'm gonna leave it like that because this is a live classes. Uh, so I don't wanna like chop another piece or something, but definitely uh, just leave yourself a slightly bigger piece of the paper, emboss it and then cut it directly to the size you need it. So that way you're not gonna have it you're not gonna have uh, the problem that it's gonna be shrink on you. Now, I'm gonna glue it down straight away as it is. I need some glue. Okay, I've got some tape. And, oh, where is the start? I need a sip of coffee. My friends, I need to tell you this thing for those of you who watch my YouTube channel or you haven't seen it yet, I'm starting this new journey like in my craft room to clean it up to also look after myself and I've cut down on the coffee and now <laughs> I can see and smell coffee everywhere and the same for sweeties <laughs> I was creating a card on my youtube channel on the video inspiration for the Wednesday and I was making a card and I was thinking this is looking like cappuccino cup <laughs> So I'm definitely on this coffee hunger. Kochani, zaczynam taki nowy rozdział troszeczkę w moim życiu tutaj kraftowym. Postanowiłam się wziąć i zorganizować, bo przymierzałam się, przymierzałam się, żeby nakręcić taki video craft room, taki filmik ze studio, ale ciągle mam ten bałagan i bałagan i po prostu pomyślałam, że się już zbiorę do siebie, za siebie, za studio. I poza sprzątaniem postanowiłam troszkę zadbać o moje zdrówko też i ucinam kawę. I teraz odkąd sobie zrezygnowałam z picia nadmiernej ilości kawy, to ja wszędzie tą kawę widzę. Robiłam ostatnio kartkę na, na filmik na YouTube'a wczoraj opublikowane i robiłam tą kartkę i myślałam, że wygląda mi ten przód jak filiżanka cappuccino. Okay, so we've got it. Um, nothing, I'm not gonna add anything else. I think that this plain base, you can have the same paper to f uh, to finish on the inside and on the, on the inside as on the outside and then maybe just uh, add like a white heart for, for writing the wishes. Uh, so that would be a nice, um, you know, complementary to the, to the inside portion of the card. But this is like that, I'm gonna leave it like that, and now we're gonna be focusing on our belly band. First and foremost, I need to glue it down. And what I like to do is, I like to add the glue on this side, on the bottom piece, right till the edge, and then on the top piece from the edge. So that way, once they both glue together, there's nothing sticking out and if you've got something 
on the card, it's never gonna be, you know, catching up. Jak dodaję sobie klej, to dodaję sobie od górnej części tutaj aż do brzegu, a na dole też aż do brzeszku, więc jak one się skleją, to po prostu ładnie to później przyściuteńko przylega. I zobaczcie, ja sobie tutaj dociskam w miarę luźno, żeby miała luz. Ten, ten paseczek się trzyma, zobaczcie, on mi nigdzie nie schodzi, ale jest luźny, żeby go y, tutaj y, sobie przesuwać. Have a look on that. Nothing is coming off, but it's tight enough and loose enough at the same time to, to work it. Okay, so my friends, now let's do this front piece. Uh, I will be working on that one first and I need this bit here. The good idea, this is what I like to do, I always smear the glue with my finger because if you have this streak of the glue, it's more, more likely that it's gonna be moist your paper and wrap it up in this place. Okay, so zobaczcie, i ja jeszcze, o, oh, I can touch my shaker and check it. Nothing, oh, there's something coming off, I didn't, I didn't press it, but oh. Yeah, it was just one bit. I didn't press enough, but you can always just uh, just wait till it's till it's glue and fix it up. And if it's still not there, you can always add that drop of the glue and try to retouch it. Okay, and yeah, and. The only one piece I've missed, but I've got it perfect. Right. Okay, so I've got my shaker. I want to have something nice to. I'm having this. Oh yeah, I'm having this piece of the ribbon, which I think it will be looking nicely on the middle portion here. And let me see, I will just need a right enough amount to glue it down, but I don't want this pink color to overtake it, so I will be adding some white ribbon on top. Dobre. Just give me one second, my friends, I need to grab some white ribbons. I have any. No, 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 no. no. I don't have it. I'm just coming back. I'm just coming back. <laughs> I'm never prepared. I'm never prepared. Right. What do I have? This is another thing, storage solution, I can share, you, share with you, my friends. I came up with the same bear mat, which is A5 size here. I chop it half to fit to the shoe box, and this is how I store my ribbon, and I absolutely love it. I love it, and I never go back to the old system because I can clearly see what I have, and I'm just adding them color-wise and it's just super super easy however i can't find the white ribbon because i'm still doing it some of my ribbons are still loose because i haven't done it i'm halfway through this system so you have to excuse me that i will need a couple seconds to find the ribbon i'm looking for or not find it at all and that will be really bad. But I've got the lace. Oh, I think this one will be looking nice. Oh, I'm not prepared. Oh. Never mind. I think I will 
will have to be leave without. Oh, I had such a nice idea and I can't find the ribbon I'm looking for. So, so, so typical. But never mind. I'm having something else instead. I'm gonna use some lace. Uh, I think I will be using some lace instead. But it's too white. Is it too white? It's too white. Oh, Marta, Marta. I have the white ribbon like that, but that one is too white as well. Not prepare. Not prepare. Never mind. I don't want to spend the whole life looking. Oh, this is, this is, that will do. Where are you? That will do. This is the white. Yeah, that will do. I don't want to spend the whole life looking for ribbons, so I'm sorry for that. Um, this is what's happening. I'm just like a halfway job person, and I don't know. I'm starting something, and then I'm just moving to another thing. <laughs> okay, let me plug my hot glue. Dobra. I w tym samym czasie e, mam tutaj mojego shakerka, mam tutaj to. Przydałoby mi się jakieś kwiatunie. I need some flowers and I think I will create some of them from the design paper as well. Why not? Uh, mam kilka tutaj wykrojników. Zrobię sobie na szybko kwiatuszki. Uh, po czemu nie? Um, myślę, że te będą ładne. Od Emilki. Um, I think I, I like these ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, nearly there. Nearly there, my friends. Uh, I should be better prepared. But uh, this is my first Thursday live classes. So I'm still trying to figure it out what to do. Uh, because I've literally took my son to the nursery and quickly ran back here. But I think once the time is passing by, it will be easier for, for me to get organized with everything. Dobra, wycinam sobie tutaj. Klej mi się tutaj nagrzewa pistole. So we're nearly finished. Okay. Well, not nearly, but almost. <laughs> almost halfway. No, more than a halfway, I think. Okay, now. Mam fajne kwiatusie. O, do zrobienia tutaj. I coś jeszcze białego by się nam przydało, myślę. Mm -hmm. And something white, like some leaves. Where is this? Where is this? Here. Okay. Jak one poszły? Dobra. Jakoś tak. No, nieważne. Doesn't matter. It will hold strongly even if one is on top of another one. Uh, this motorway great magnet, it will hold it. Kochani, te magnesy takie właśnie uh, samochodowe, one będą Wam trzymały nawet jak będą wykrojniki na siebie nachodziły. I teraz coś fajnego, coś fajnego listunie. I love this uh, spellbinder leaf. This is a very, very old set called Romantic Vines. And I just love it because it's so, like, I love this incision pattern on the dice. This is one of my favorite. Okay, trochę białego papierku, a little bit of the white card. So I could cut these ones out. And where is this bit here? Okay, I'm just gonna run it through. So I have the leaves. I'm gonna quickly make my flowers. And we're gonna be wrapping this card. Okay, so let me see how it is cut. Yes, perfect. Okay, and and 
have a look on that i'll just give you a little close-up look how beautifully this is designed and if you take a sponge or something and you will be inking it up this design will show up even more kochani jak macie takie wykrojniki właśnie z takimi nacięciami to naprawdę super one wyglądają jak się jeszcze dodatkowo weźmie jakiś jasny na przykład tusz i delikatnie gąbeczką po samej powierzchni przejedzie bo wtedy te rowki jeszcze bardziej się uwidacznieją why am i having three oh there's a fourth one there you are okay so i think that will be enough because i'm not planning any oh, extra dimensional composition because i want to pack it to the envelope so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna using a drop of the glue here and drop of the glue on this side just so I could put my lace together and it does not have to be super perfect because no one will see it and to help me out so it's not gonna be appearing as pinkish I'm gonna be using the, the ribbon now I wish my ribbon to be uh, twice the size like 25 millimeters or something will be great but I can't find it and that's it <laughs> I just have to work with it okay and I'm just stuck in my ribbon just uh, in the center in the middle of this pinkish color uh, lacy piece I'm just making sure it's nice on the back side now don't uh, put your ribbon too tight because it will bound bound your card so you just want it to have it loose enough so it will just guide along with the paper if you're gonna be like trying to you know push it too much it will just start bending your belly uh, belly band so I'm just adding a drop of the glue cutting off the excess and at this point I'm quite happy so I can glue down my heart now the best idea to do it is to actually and I'll show you what I'm gonna do I'm taking off the belly band I am placing my heart as I want it like as I would like it to be so I know like you know so you know kind of your position so you're not gonna end up like that but you just have it in the middle and then take your pencil a little bit and just mark yourself a teeny tiny bit areas where you know you want to put your your glue or your adhesive and uh, for the Heart like that I would like to glue it down with the help of the foam tape which uh, where do I have it oh, I've got too many stuff here my friends. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. where do I put you oh I don't know this means a lot if I cannot find my huge roll of the uh, foam tape that means I really need to clean it up but I've got the spare one here in my drawer so I'm just gonna reach for that one is this there? no it's not there so where are you? oh you are here okay if anyone haven't seen it yet <laughs> This is the rolls of the double foam tape I'm using. This is how I buy them from the um, uh, from the uh, renovation store. So right now I've got those dots marked, and I know where I want my heart to uh, like this this foam. Where do I need it to go? And I'm doing that because that way having the foam. It will just glue on the whole surface of your uh, of your element so that way it's not gonna be you know coming out in any way and okay I'm gonna take the piece here and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just cut it in half here 
So I've been filling this gap and just like that, oh, where's this piece? I just have it filled the whole surface. Okay, so I'm taking off the release papers. Just like that. If it's only coming out, come on, come on, little guy. Don't want to do it. So I'll take it from another side. Kochani, przyklejam sobie na taką taśmę piankową, dlatego że mam tutaj różne nierówności i ta taśma piankowa fajnie mi to wszystko zamortyzuje, a dodatkowo to serce nam się przyklei na całej szerokości. Ja sobie ołówkiem zaznaczyłam, zobaczcie, delikatnie, tego nie będzie widać z spodu i tak. I teraz sobie to przykleję. I przykleję sobie tak, żeby mi właśnie to serduszko wyszło w sam środeczek. O, oh, one more thing. No. I will just put my belly band here so I could see um, how is this working? Okay, oh, there we go. And now I will just try to see. Yeah, would that be okay? Yeah. Uh, if it's gonna be looking nice or not. And now I'm just right in the middle. Just like that. And once I'm happy with the placement, I could just squeeze it and this way it will be right in the center and oh, testing 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 working fine here we go so I've got it like that then I have my shaker piece which I think I'm just gonna be gluing down with the double sided uh, no double sided with the hot glue just to speed it up and and it's there. Couple of flowers. And I need to give them some dimension. So for my flowers, you could add all sorts of flowers like Farmiran flowers or paper flowers, like more dimensional flowers. This is just an exampling I'm doing for finish the, the card. So that will show you the, the idea, but you can work it on the way. Uh, it's more pleasing to, to you. I zobaczcie, zaraz sobie tutaj dokończę te kwiatusie. Nic super takiego, wiecie, strojnego, aczkolwiek możecie sobie... Nie przygotowałam sobie kwiatków tak naprawdę. To jest jedna rzecz, dla której właśnie robię je teraz na szybciutko. Mam jeszcze jakieś kwiatki, ale już tu nie będziemy szukać można sobie zresztą zawsze zrobić właśnie samemu takie kwiatusie szybciutko i też będzie ładnie. Ok, so I'm gonna be adding the uh, drop of the glue to the curl inside. And this is what it's going to be creating our flower center. And now I will be adding this little pearl to the smaller flower. Just like that. Oh, you know what? No, I don't want it. I have the bird thing for it. I think I have it somewhere. Oh, you see, I'm changing my mind 10 times. I think this one will be looking nicer rather than this flat pearl. But let me just have a look. And now again, I'm just changing my mind. And changing my mind I'm so indecisive yeah I like this one far better oh never mind so I'm gonna be doing that this is just a artificial berry you can buy in any like craft store or or order it from 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 eBay or Aliexpress or something like that this is where I got mine from now I want to change it is it too late it's never too late. <laughs> never too late for a changes, my friends. I don't have my poking tool, so I just use my scissors 
and yes I think I just there's something in this little white berries I just love them so so much I just can't live without them <laughs> I don't know I just love them and I think they they making the flowers look much much nicer okay so change of the plants again Oh, hello Sue, how are you? What are you doing today? What's your plans for today? Okay, right, so we've got that one. Yeah, I think I love them far better with the berry. Okay, so I put that on the side into back to the drawer. And let me just finish that off last couple bits and where is my flowers I'm gonna chop it off this bits and you can add some sentiments you can add like whatever you know um, you can add some Caesar cheesecloth so many different things you can actually put into here that uh, it's just up to yourself my friends whatever you would like to finish it I'm gonna do a quick finish here with this flowers and and couple of leaves and yeah and I think it's looking really nice like that it's very elegant very like a wedding-ish style don't you think my friends that it looks like a wedding card <laughs> okay zobaczcie o dziękuję bardzo cieszę się że się podoba tak na szybko trochę z planem trochę bez e, dzisiaj tworzymy ja tworzę przynajmniej tak co chwila coś zmieniam sobie jedną rzecz zaplanuję a, a robię inną <laughs> cała ja Okay, and let me see a little bit here and a little bit here with this bluish color flower oh I like it I really really like it I just need to get rid of this is what always annoys me is those hot glue strings they always like glue down to the acetate and last bit I think I'm gonna do I will be creating some uh, some nice bowl and for that I will do I need a piece of the wire I am very bad at bounding the balls I just don't know how to do it correctly I don't know I just prefer to do them this way I'm just grabbing the ribbon in my fingers and just loop it a few times until I'm happy like if you want to have two loops three, three, three loops whatever it's pleasing to you I like two or three I think it looks the best and once I'm happy once I have my ribbon there I'm just chopping off this bit a little bit longer at first you can always chop it back and once I have my ribbon I'm just grabbing the piece of the fl florist wire, very thin wire, very like, um, uh, what is it, like um, easy to, uh, to twist, so it doesn't require any strength and I'm just securing my ball. Zobaczcie kochani, na kokardkę robię sobie taką, um, uwielbiam robić kokardki przy użyciu drucika, dlatego że ja zawsze krzywo je gdzieś tam wiążę. A taki florystyczny drucik bardzo ładnie zabezpiecza i jak macie, szczególnie jak macie taką, wiecie co, duże wstążki, takie mm, dość powiedziałabym obszerne, to one się Wam tak nie zagniotą przy tym druciku, jakbyście próbowali je e, podwiązać samemu. Ok, and I'm gonna create something like that, I'm just gonna add some glue. And last bit, I'm just gonna add my ribbon here, just like that. So it's gonna give me this nice ball. Oh, why you're not coming off here? Okay, 
just put it underneath the petal just like that and then piece of wire here we go and I've got my card with the belly band uh, almost ready I don't like it's just like moving too much so I'm just gonna add the drop of the glue and just glue it down so it will be more sturdier and you can add more flowers you can add more beds to it you have the perfect space to add your like a strip of sentiment maybe here or something or another heart with your like a details or something like in a small frame but this is it this is the idea to rather than putting the composition on a card you're leaving the plain card and add all your uh, composition to your belly band so what do you think do you like it my friends uh, i think i could put a little bit extra more embellishing to it but i've spent so much time on cutting this little shaker uh, that i didn't want to be you know <laughs> three hours on the live and create it you know um, much more but I initially I was planning to add a little bit more but then I had this idea for for a mini sh shaker uh, so uh, I hope you like it uh, let me know in a um, in a comment and I will post it uh, the photo of the card on the drop of inspirational group so if you're not there and you would like to join our lovely group, uh, you're more than welcome. We're almost 500 members. So as soon as there will be a 500 members there, I will be uh, I will be giving you away another uh, free design. In meantime, uh, just to let you know, my friends, for those of you who join later on, uh, this is the design paper we were creating from. And this design paper is free downloadable on the uh, my drop of sunshine page so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy it i'll see you next thursday we're gonna do something nice and let me know in a comment actually uh, what you would like to see or uh, you can write it down on the post on the group underneath there uh, what else you would like to see uh, thank you so so much it was a pleasure uh, so, uh, so thank you so much. O, dziękuję Izunia. E, dziękuję bardzo, że karteczka się spodobała. Dziękuję Wam wszystkim za to, że byliście, że oglądaliście. Papierek jest dla Was do pobrania, do ściągnięcia na moim fanpage'u. Zapraszam Was na grupkę inspiracyjną. E, tam również są darmowe papierki, takie tylko dla, dla grupy. E, mam nadzieję, że Wam się spodobają. Także za chwilę będzie Was 500 na grupie, więc będzie kolejny papierek udostępniony i trzymajcie się cieplutko, do zobaczenia w następny czwartek, pozdrawiam Was, ściskam i do zobaczonka thank you so so much my friends uh, stay blessed, I'm wishing you a fabulous weekend and I'll see you next uh, Thursday and on a Monday I will have the new video series cleaning up with me so uh, I hope you join me on a YouTube channel as well stay blessed, bye bye